Hello? Okay. First of all, this is going to be a little weird because I'm used to streaming, but um, yeah, I'm just recording. So oddly enough, it's it feels more awkward. Now, this video, I have no structure to it. I have no outline. I have no... My plan is to literally just show you something that I have learned myself and it's about compression now so when it comes to compression it seems to be that the type of thing where it's like um an anomaly like people either people either have no idea what it does altogether or they kind of understand what it's supposed to do but they can't actually hear it and this video is basically going to be on how to hear compression now I'm basically showing you how I use compression and I'm showing you also how I've uh, how I've learned to identify what different types of compression are doing. It's a little messy, but um, I think at the same time I was able to produce, hopefully let me know if you guys were actually able to hear in this video what it is I'm trying to explain to you to hear. Try not to imagine it and try to actually like hear it happening. Close your eyes, put your headphones on, turn your speakers all the way up, whatever you gotta do to like really be able to hear what's happening. Cause once you know in your mind what it's supposed to sound like, it's a lot easier to be able to identify it in uh, real time when you're working on a song rather than sitting there and trying to like just fidget with things all day. Um, but yeah, I have just, I've been engineering for a long time, like six, seven years now. And I am still learning how to hear compression and also learning about how different compressors sound. And if there's anything that you're always going to hear me say throughout any type of videos like this is you got to make sure that you are mixing with your ears and not your eyes. As new producers and engineers, a lot of people have the have the habit of visually doing things and not confirming that they're actually hearing what it is that they think they're doing with their ears. Um, and it's a common just early age mistake. So this compressor here, this is a TubeTech CL1B. It's a very well known compressor. Um, and using this compress using this compressor is what is like what made me able to identify these types of things that I'm about to show you. Um, and 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 how I started to identify what different controls did with my ears. I knew what they were supposed to do just from watching videos and like, oh, this is supposed to do this, like this does, people would explain it and you think you hear it, but now I could actually confidently tell you that I hear exactly what it is that um, I'm doing because I've able to be, I've been able to identify it. Song I'm gonna be showing you this on is uh, in the booth we did on stream with Kura. This was, uh, this is one of my favorite songs. I mean, they're all really good. Uh, this one I really fuck with though. Uh, I'll play it for you real quick for a sec. Yeah. Huh. Why is that? Rick Seuss, yeah, about take a vest. Yeah, this little bitch know I've been the best. Yeah. Huh. She said she cold, she feeling good. I was in LA with that rose, red with wood. And every time I flash my paw, yeah, she is shut. I just told them if they broke, they stay in put. Yeah. I'm coming vibe up. Okay. What I'm about to show you is pretty much based on vocals and um, how this affects how, how types of compression can affect vocals. It's not really something that I could say I've used much on like 808s or instruments or synthesizers and things like that. I have I don't play with those elements of a song enough in the mix that like I ever really would use compression in this way. But Anyways, let's get into it. So, um, I'm gonna just kind of mute everything except, um, oh, everything was muted. Ha, <laughs> you didn't even hear a little song. Anyways, go get this shit when it comes out. It should be out by like January. So I'm just gonna kind of mute everything up to the CL1B. Um, all I have before it is this EQ. So I just have this EQ rolling off some low end, doing some basic shit, and then it's going to the CL1B, right? So in the CL1B, here's what I really want to show you. The two main things are attack and release. With compression, once you can identify what your attack and what your release are doing, you're gonna be way happier. And way, and way more confident with like the moves that you're making with compression. I've discovered that like certain things that I wanted to hear that I thought an EQ would do 
better compression settings are really what would fix it. Um, fast, uh, you know, attack and release are also what's going to affect how punchy something is and or how smooth a vocal is. Um, and it varies from genre to genre and even just types of beats and stuff like that. We're going to start with the default uh, settings on here. Um, this is 5.0 5 attack. You can see it up here in the top left corner. It's going to tell you the numbers here. It's 5.0 attack. It's pretty slow attack. I'm pretty sure this is in milliseconds. Um, so let's just assume it's 5 second. Whatever. It's a medium attack. And then you have medium release 5.0 as well. Uh, you can see right here. So let's just start with... Hearing the voice. Huh. She said she cold, she feeling good. I'm gonna turn the light I was all the way up. With arrows, right with what? Okay, so here's what you're gonna notice. So when I have this release huh. really slow, she she cold, she um, feeling you're gonna good. notice that I was the, LA with you're gonna notice that the voice is way smoother. It's quieter too because the compressor is staying uh, at reduction at the, like the reduction amount pretty much the entire time because it's so slow it's not it doesn't even have enough release time is basically how quickly this needle is 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 going to show you it's just going to go back up slower it's going to release from the signal slower so if, if it's if there's if it's a 10 second release time it has no reason to even move so huh. you notice it's basically cold, just stay down feeling here. good and I was in that's LA what's going to be giving you that smooth tone. Right now, if I what? speed it up, every time I flash my paw, yeah, she gets not shut. only does it get louder, but I've always noticed that a faster release also adds character. Like it adds like some saturation, almost like there's like a decapitator on it or something like that. Um, huh. So it creates she says she calls, she's feeling good. I was in LA with arrows, right with what? Slow. Every time I flash my paw, yeah, she gets shut. It's a lot smoother here. I just told them if they broke, they stay in put. Yeah. Come and vibe, huh? So it gives it this boom. So this come spend night, huh? This kind yeah. of saturated I love, love sound. Right, huh? So that's something I just noticed about what release does, right? Now let's listen with attack. Now, I was in so LA with that. What you're gonna notice, what I've always noticed with slow uh, and fast attack, or slow versus fast attack, is that with slow, you're gonna notice it's basically letting in more of the signal um, than if it was faster, it'd be clamping down a lot faster and crushing the signal right away so you're gonna notice one's gonna be louder one's gonna be quieter again so slow <laughs> she said she cold she feeling good so, 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 so. i was in yeah. la with arrows right with what and every time i flash my paw like a, yeah she gets shut i just told them if they broke they stay in put gets quieter yeah. but Coming it's quieter by, because it's bringing uh, the whole signal down right away night, huh? yeah i love it, love them seeing you right huh? yeah we ride this ass, so I got side dog. Let's go slow again. Yeah. Sip, uh, sip dirty. Black kill cranes. Yeah, flip brains. Yeah, this whole flame. And so, because it's, le it's letting in the signal faster, it's going to also be kind of also creating a sense of punchiness. Now, I feel like it's a smoother punch. If I was to turn this fat, the release all the way up to that fast uh, setting, and it gives us like that kind of distorted, punchy sound where I feel like. With slower, it'll give you punchiness with less saturation, like less distortion. So, like, let's say I was working on, um, like, a, a, you know, like a, I don't know, like a, like an Osama Sun song. I'd probably have a faster release and a faster attack because I want a smoother vocal. This a faster attack is going to smooth it out. It's going to be less punchy. I want that. I want a smoother vocal and a little more like saturation and like character to it because that's what that. That's that's like what that song kind of requires. It's super crushed, and so you don't want to be letting anything come through. So faster attack, and it's just it's just rage, and that shit always has like distortion and like and you know shit like that. So that would really add like good character to it. Now I'm showing you just attack and release right now because these are the things that I've always noticed. Ratio is really pretty simple. The less that you have it, <laughs> she said she cold, she feeling good. The less that I was it's in doing. LA with arrows, right with what? And every time I flash my paw, yeah, she gets shook. And I just told them if they broke, they stay in put. Yeah, and come and vibe, huh? Yeah, try to come spend the night, huh? Yeah. So with. With ratio, you know, when this is down, it's ratio is kind of like a mix knob on any other plugin. Kind of. Um, but. I've always identified it as just more or less of what I'm already hearing.
<laughs> with whatever settings that I dialed in on attack and release that I like, I'm just hearing ratio as like more or less of whatever it is that those settings are doing to 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 the vocal. <laughs> she said she cold, so really she's feeling good. I was in LA with that rose, right with what? This is Every time I flash my paw, yeah, she gets shook. I just told with, with with the CL1B, I like the six to one ratio that it does. I think it's just aggressive and cool. And I always will just use the dry the this mix knob here to dial in like also how much of that character I really want. Now, these are all the settings and stuff that I've kind of discovered. They're just really obvious on this plugin. And that's when I started to be able to like realize what these things are doing. Now, the other thing I want to show you is how I use compression. So I'll use this plugin, right? And it's very aggressive, like I've said like five times. It creates a lot of character and it will give punch or smoothness that is really comfortable. You can apply these settings and ideas to any compressor. The way they sound is gonna sound different. Uh, you know, a, a two second attack and you know, a whatever, a, a, a five, that doesn't, I, whatever, a, a two attack and a five release on this compressor is not going to sound the same on, you know, like a CLA 76 or anything like that. They're all going to sound different and you will, you can find different sounds and characters that you like, but it's important of course, to be able to actually identify and hear those changes that are happening so that when you're working on a song and you want to, and, and you identify in your mind, like, this is how I want this vocal to feel in this song. Do I want it to feel really aggressive and punchy or do I want it to feel really smoothed out and, uh, and 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 smooth and like and just glide into this in the song. It depends, and you have to be able to one. I always say reference. You got to be able to listen to music and identify. All right, this is a really punchy vocal, or this is a really smooth vocal. Distortion doesn't mean punchy, um, and cleanliness doesn't mean that it's even just even if it's clean doesn't mean it's not punchy or it doesn't have distortion. Little things like that are just going to be things you have to pay attention to. Um, now. Let's go into, I just want to show you how I like will use a compressor now. Let me just reload this real quick, the way I had it. Okay, so this is the vocal chain that I had on it. There's a lot going on, but it's mostly, it's pretty much all just EQ, compress, DS, EQ, compress, some saturation, DS. This stuff doesn't really matter for the purpose of the, the, purpose of the video. Um, but what I do want you to see is right here, I have, I don't know why this is, my computer is, I don't know why you're seeing this at like 15 FPS, by the way. I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, so this is the compressor settings that I had for this vocal on this. Yeah. I was in LA with that rose, right with what? I Every wanted time this I punchiness, my paw, yeah, she and I said, wanted this distortion, I just told them if they this broke, saturation they that comes put. from a faster yeah. release. So I like both of those things. Yeah. Time come spend night for this, and then I mix yeah. it in at what is love, it, 65%. Love, right, right? right, so I'm creating a lot of character here. A slow, uh, uh, you know, a medium to slow attack. This is a medium attack. This is giving us punchiness. This is giving us saturation. So this, because of saturation, the saturation and punchiness that it is introducing into the vocal, um, I don't want way too much of it. I feel like, again, because this is so aggressive, I'll like blend it in like this. So then it's EQ and then that compressor. I'll clean it up and stuff with some DSing, then a little boost EQ. There's a lot of push here at 16K. And then R comp. So this is a really simple compressor, but this is a, this is a really clean compressor. I've always just noticed and felt like it was great for smoothing everything out. So I'll create this really punchy vocal, this really aggressive punchiness from this compressor, the, the CL1B, and then eventually go into another compressor whose, with, whose sole purpose is to fit it into the song now. Because especially with these genres, underground music, all rap shit, pop music, pretty much everything, the vocals are always, that lead vocal is always sitting in one place. And everything is very consistent in terms of dynamics. Dynamics meaning how loud and how quiet things get. Okay, so this is gonna be harder to hear. This compressor is doing a lot, but it may not seem like it when I turn it on and off. Uh, so here's it on. Yeah. We write this test so I got side though. Yeah. Sip, uh, sip, this is dirty, off. black kill cranes, yeah, flip brains, yeah, this whole flirty. And trying to play with soon and stand up be certain. So worried for him, yeah, so worried. And show me what to do, but I just listen, cause I gotta get it. I've been tripping, I've been showing. Basically, what I'm trying to say is 
I'll create all this character and compression and like give this thing some life. It gives it that nice shiny high end that you like. It gives you punch that you like the way it feels when you feel it in your headphones or your car. Um, that's what this is doing, right? And then this is just like volume control. Um, it's I have it on the smooth setting. I don't want it adding like more character and boominess um, with the warm setting. So I like these, uh, you know, auto release control, electro, and then smooth. Um, that one that one second attack is what smooths it out though. Um, in that medium release at 160, that's what smooths it out. And then that 4.0, 3.99 ratio on this is just making sure it's getting the job done um the way i'm explaining it though is with a lot of words you got to be able to hear it so i know that what this is doing is just messy right, huh? yeah we write the Turn test i got sad dog right yeah so this sip, is off sip dirty this. This like on. kill craze yeah flip brains it's so free it's on play with soon it's stand up it's safe off so away from it's so away and show me what's to do, but I just on. listen cause I gotta get it I've been tripping, I've been Punchy, showing all these bitches where I'm living When my brothers good. called me, he said he was like to have me live I took hella risks and all this shit just put me in position I hope they ain't telling on me, I'm oh. just trying to go help the homies Yeah, and they try oh. whacking on me, all your problems go put them on me Yeah, I used to pray for days like these they... You gotta listen to everything, you gotta listen to all the frequencies Not just like the high end or whatever, like you gotta listen to everything Anyways, so, that's what that's doing And then I'll go here Right, huh? Yeah, off. we write the test. I got side dog. Now yeah. it's just smooth. Sip, it's all uh, that sip, goodness. Dirty, black kill craze. Yeah, flip brains. Yeah, this whole thing. I'm trying to play with you and stand up and say it. So away from it. So away. Let me know if you guys are able to actually hear what it is I'm trying to show you. I'm curious if this actually helps at all. Uh, I'm sorry if it was all over the place, but yeah. Um. All right, guys, appreciate y'all. Uh, I will see y'all in the next video. Let me know if you guys want more mixing tips. Let me know if there are any other topics that you guys want me to talk on. I am planning on doing a video next about um, mixing mistakes with beats uh, that I usually get sent in. It's just, I'm just going to show you guys like adjustments that I find myself making often when, uh, when people send in beats and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Peace, guys.